still able to uh, bring it back. But already going into the next set, this is going to be losing his finals. This is the set that will define who will be going into grand finals and who will be going home with only a third place. This is so bizarre. Either of these guys would have been tonight's favorites to win Xenosaga, yet they're fighting for the right to face off against Vivi and Brands. Yeah. This is insane. If we're seeing Evenia anything like what we've previously seen, I don't know if Ray's got much uh, room to breathe here. But early percentage looking pretty spicy for him. Really good F though. Um, I'm not sure why he didn't opt for the back though. Maybe he was afraid of staling it. Um, but yeah, so Evenia has to now just like, after that kind of a set, he definitely has to adapt to like the matchup difference. <laughs> It's just gonna, it's gonna like free the first stock a little bit. Oh my god, beautiful parry punish with the F tilt there. And for what it's worth, Venia has so much experience fighting off against Ray's Palu and, you know, the other pilots of the city, that he has more than enough of an idea of what he needs to do to take advantage of his character. Yeah, and Ray unfortunately was facing the wrong way through the neutral air. So Venia was sent towards the stage, able to get the stage tag, and Utopian Ray simply fell to his death, but Venia a little bit too hasty with his dash and trying to get the punish on the explosive flame. Unfortunately, running right into it, and now he gets hit with one neutral air, taking 37 plus set. He took it away, going through the flame trap, but unable to land it because of just how little lag landing neutral air dodge has. These guys are just looking so seasoned with how they need to face each other. Like, the tiny bits of respect they're giving each other ends up swinging momentum yep. so hard. Right. This is the markings of a good set in the making, as Venia tries to take himself total stage control, misses his punish on Ray's haphazard recovery. Really good back throw just to be a certain stage control for himself. Landing on Venia's shield now. Venia was expecting the cross up, and that is why he went for the dash attack. Um, I feel like a landing back here though might be able to get more coverage with an up tilt. But Venia, I believe that was a down tilt for you to take out uh hoping to his second stop. Ray's gonna have to work fast if he ever wants to take away any momentum here. Yeah. Just because the way that Venny has been playing currently, oh my god, he's snatching any opportunity that Beltana really has to reestablish stage control. And even though she has tools that let her do so pretty swiftly and with minimum effort, and she still like, needs a safe landing. Like, look at this. Like, what's Ray? So here's the thing: Ray was just like taking so much damage because he put in his jump preemptively, got caught with those up airs, and then, oh my god, beautiful F smash. Okay, so the way that Venia is able to predict where you are going to be at any given moment, he knows, okay, he doesn't have a jump. He's going to try to land as soon as possible. He's going to teleport cancel on this platform. You already saw him mad dashing to get the dash attack off. And through that entire sequence, you racked up so much pace. Venia is insane. His awareness is nuts. He's taking advantage of the fact that his character has such good ground speed by just not being in the air. He's putting his opponents in the air, doing a great job tackling on the damage alongside that. But anytime they're trying to mix up where they're going to land, whether it's drift one way and go the other, or utilize their resources to reposition, he's not committing to a jump. He's staying on the ground, he's waiting for his opportunity to rejuggle and continue to just assert so much control. Mm -hmm. And it was just like crazy, like how out of one dash attack, Venia was able to get an up smash and field 34%, and now he gets an up tilt from that dash attack, an up air, Beautiful frame trap just to put Ray in a position where he had to get back in. And I feel like it's so difficult to comment on what Ray is doing because all of it just feels like like Venny is controlling the set, like the, the pace of the set, but really good dash attack, really good back air. Um, of course, utilizing the armor so Venny can't land as aggressively as he would like to. In situations like this, it makes it feel like fighting Venia is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube with a gun to your head. You take <laughs> your time to think, you get punished. You make the wrong move, you get punished. You think you're planning five steps ahead, and you messed up, and you're Look punished. The first time that Ray directional air dodge, oh my god, but the up smash is such a huge hitbox and just so ridiculously active trading with Ray. So really, really nicely placed up smash. The first I've seen him use in quite a bit. Um, well, Ruben has a decent amount of startup, and Ray has not had any yeah. opportunity to do anything on the ground, really. Every time one of these characters jumps, it's a hard commitment to what they want to do. We've seen Venia threaten with the Tomahawks, so that way he can try and go in from there, or just reposition and then punish accordingly. Meanwhile, Ray needs to get oh things started God. in the air. A lot of Polytenna's moves that help take backstage control are from the air, yeah, not his dash attack. Honestly, her only other like starting moves that aren't as committal as down tilt or F tilt on the ground are like dash attack. Right, because that's a quick little burst option. But Venia, what I really love about Venia is he's so wary and like attentive of the fact that Palutena can dash attack at any given moment. 
he always positions himself above Ray so that he can go with a down air. And as a result, he's able to get a down air into an air, a down air into a back air, something like that. It's the idea that these characters have like a certain heat map of where they can assert their presence. And Venia is so battle-hardened from fighting this character so many times, he knows exactly where he needs to position himself to have maximum effort for threatening space for them! Great dipping so low, but unfortunately not even oh. getting the down air off for his commitment, but Venia... That's so unfortunate! Oh no! <laughs> He had the idea, he had the weed, he had the commitment. Uh oh, what's going What's going on there, Hangman? I was going to hold this up now, gonna, just, to, just, just to keep this over here for the next game. Got a feeling we're not going to go into a game four. Sorry, Ray. Uh, let me just keep this right here. Um, Devin, do you think we could quickly pan to the cameras for a split second? Yep. There's no way out. <laughs> there's no way out. I hope Utopian Ray knows there's no way out. There's only one way, and it's full speed ahead. Um... So we gotta get right back to PS2. Ray, I mean, Ray has to basically play a game of I will win if you do not touch me. Because, <laughs> I mean, like that, he got falling forward into dash attack. <laughs> this is nuts. I, this is so difficult to commentate this level of Can aggression. you beat Xenosaga XXX without getting hit? <laughs> Just don't a get challenge hit. run by Venia. <laughs> get back though. And. Honestly, the Explosive Flame was more so just to maybe force Benny to burn his resources, but Explosive Flame has so much lag in it that Ray is just not even able to capitalize on the resource expenditure. Like, the problem with Explosive Flame is that even though the projectile itself is active for a decent amount of time and has a lot of stage presence just because it's fairly big, yep. like, Politeman needs to be a decent distance away for it to be safe. Ooh, and falling <laughs> out of the up smash, unfortunately. I mean, of course, good engine, much like many other multi-hits in this game, suffered from a lack of consistency. The PS2 platforms are, like, especially brutal for trying to ha let that happen. You have to get it right in the center, and if they're up just a little bit too far, it's just not going to connect into itself. It's like the exact height to mess it up. You won't see that problem on Battlefield or if you're on, like, Yoshi's Story, but I digress. Venya still finds a way to net this kill. Further surmounting his lead on Utopian, right? <laughs> yep. But I respect the effort on him charging up the up smash. Definitely would have helped him go forward. But Little Shurikens, another great tool in Venia's arsenal that lets him not have to worry about an opponent's options because it's just a quick no. It's just a little hit. He's not going to get much off of it, but he stops his opponent from surmounting Ooh. any momentum. Really, really good counter mix up. But now that is something that Venia has an idea of, okay, this is something that Ray is going to do. I'm going to chase, and I'm going to wait for that counter next time. I'm going to get a free back here the next time he does it. So I don't believe that's something that Ray can get away with again. Right now, this is so dangerous for Ray. He has to find a way to get back. Really good use of his double jump there to go on the platform. Keep note of where Ray is trying to position himself now that he has like a fighting chance against Venia. He's trying to stay right out of the burst range that is dash, dash yep. attack, down tilt, or forward air. He does not want to occupy any of those spaces because at any point Venia could just threaten those yep. moves. And of course, Venia for the first time in the entire set has misspaced something on a shield and got shield punished for it. We're what, 12 minutes into the set and change, maybe? And he's yep. only made one mistake? And yeah, now, this is a good looking Venia today. Yeah, and you know what? Both of these players have slowed it down. Venia able just to like wait for the perfect time to get the down tilt, and able to connect the forward air. That's the second forward air coming out, a little bit stale. Um, not able to kill. Whoa. And that Yo, forward tilt. Yo, he slid through and forward tilted. He just did a beautiful pivot cancel left tilt just to close out of there. He was like, oh, what? you're landing in front of me. Huh. Oh, buddy, nah, not anymore. Venio with such lethal grace with his character. Yeah. And now you just see like Ray just maybe trying to contest Venia in the air to air. But Venia got a lead on that and was able to get under Utopian Ray where it counted most. Connecting the four airs. You know, I when it comes to when it comes to tournaments that involve any of yeah. our, our friends or acquaintances, it's hard to focus on one person doing so well for so long. Yes. But Venia just doesn't give an opportunity for anyone else to flourish when he's playing like this. Absolutely. Like, to raise credit, he's done a good job with surviving, and he's been trying to run the gauntlet of these options that Venia has. He hasn't repeated a single combo tree. He's gotten his hit confirms and his Whoa. kills. What? But Did he you just... see the way he maneuvered around the up smash? This is ridiculous. That's nuts. That's absolutely ridiculous. Venia, okay, finally getting on his last stock. 
Oh my god, and that is a down tilt forward, and that is enough to take it Venya with the, one of the most convincing 3-0, it's a second 3-0 in a row, where he just, not only did he win, I'm sorry, Ray, he kind of steamrolled, buddy. You know, Dara, I don't think Venya's happy he lost to Evening. 